How fast an ambulance reaches you could be a matter of life and death. Today, three Republican city councilmen went public, saying friction between county and city leaders is pushing our city's ambulance service to a breaking point. TRA needs help. So do you think TRA needs more help? TRA needs more help. They certainly do. Despite that agreement, there's still tension between city council and county commissioners. The bickering between city and county officials is putting every life in Fort Wayne at risk. Thursday, Councilmen Yale, Hartman, and Myers held a meeting to voice their concerns, saying county leaders are supposed to be responsible for helping the city with the ambulance service. The commissioners are co-partners of TRA, make board appointments to TRA, have a legal responsibility to TRA. Now they say the county hasn't been upholding their end of the deal and that their creation of fire districts is damaging TRA's resources. Their uh, recruiting tools have been to uh, attract the TRA employees, the, the TRA paramedics, the TRA EMTs. But county leaders disagree. I think the problem is not the districts pulling from TRA because there's as many people going to the Fort Wayne Fire Department as there are coming over to the districts. The problem isn't about pay, the problem is about working conditions. And they say this issue doesn't involve city council. So we're sitting down with the mayor and the deputy mayor and we're talking with them on a regular basis about this issue. So we haven't included city council because they're not really involved in the process. The proposed solution? Yale wants a task force. We should work out uh, joint billing, joint recruitment, uh, joint dispatch, joint accounting, uh, joint purchasing. This is in hopes to create a more reliable EMS service because if not... So our fear is going back down to those levels where <clears throat> they're not able to respond efficiently and people are waiting for EMS. That's why we want to make these decisions now and, and get things solved now instead of when the solution's out of control. City Council also made it a point today to mention it's been three years since the county paid for any costs related to TRA. In studio, Meg Rossler, 21 Alive News.